Dear SQL folks, let's talk about the extended events in Prod SQL servers. Before that, so myself, I'm Rasekar Edibola. I'm having 13 plus years of experience into the SQL DBA development, performance tuning, and uh, into the cloud, I have five plus years of experience. I also have a YouTube channel. You can find me in YouTube as well. So team, uh, nowadays, people are using extended events team. So no more SQL Server Profiler, okay? So using SQL Profiler, it consumes a lot of resources, a lot of CPU, memory, and uh, IO, okay? So to avoid this team, so Microsoft introduced uh, extended events, extended events in SQL Server. Uh, this was introduced in SQL Server 2008. But uh, now, full-fledged people are using team. More options, more features we have in extended events. Okay? I will show you, team, uh, how people will... Uh, I mean, using these extended events. Uh, the main reason using these extended events are really lightweight team. So, uh, there are alternatives for extended events. But uh, these profiler, SQL agent jobs, or some third-party tools also you can use uh, to monitor. Okay? To monitor the SQL Server performance, troubleshooting, editing purpose, you can also use this. But these uh, really takes uh, consumes a lot of resources. So using extended events, how easily we can capture and we can check all these things. Uh, I mean, performance tuning, troubleshooting, editing details. How we can easily check and all. I will show you. Okay, yeah. So team, uh, this is the uh, script. I will provide to you, team. Uh, I will give you the link to download this document. Uh, don't worry about the script and all. See, this is the script, team. So, this script, uh, how it helps us. Uh, so, let me create it first, team. So, just copy the scripts. Uh, just uh, in SQL Server. Okay. Just create uh, this extended events, team. This, here it will be created. Hmm? This one. So, execute. So, what it does is, it captures all errors in SQL Server team. See, even application also, uh, uh, application is connected to SQL Server, right? Even application side also, if it throws any errors and all, here uh, we can check it. Okay, what errors are uh, uh, captured? Huh? Any error, any error uh, in live, so and so, even end user side, and some people trying to do something and uh, it throws some error. Those are all errors we can capture, captured here, team. See, uh, just, uh, it's under stop mode, team. Just right click and start it. Okay. Now, now onwards, it will capture all errors in SQL Server, huh? even for all databases also. Suppose, team, uh, this is a test server. Uh, I cannot show you it. Uh, I cannot show you in live, but uh, assume this is also a production mission. Hmm? Uh, Suppose, let me generate one error team. Uh, let's see whether this will capture that error or not. Okay. So before that team, uh, I will show it to you. See, this is the file. Uh, just view targeted. You have to check here. So here it will show all the errors and all the previous uh, errors also uh, sound here team. Okay. Here are the some of the columns uh, capture, capturing using this uh, extended events. Okay. Yeah, uh, database name, username, uh, what is the actual error message got, uh, in which from which host and which application. See, these are all the details uh, we can have here. Okay, so let me generate one error team. Uh, either you can generate uh, from application side or you can generate from even from management studio also, it will capture that error. Okay, so we have the data team, uh, we have the data in this table. Select star from customer. Okay. So see this, uh, uh, if you check it, RTF1. RTF1 means properties of the table. Okay. This is the primary key table team. Mm, so we have a primary key on this customer ID. Okay. So obviously, if we, if we have a primary key means definitely uh, there are some tables which are referencing to this table. So obviously, we cannot delete the data on this table, right? So, because the, this table is referenced by other two tables here. Huh? So, if I delete, if I try to delete, it will throw an error. Right. So, let me try to see it is throwed an error. So, this is done from somewhere. Okay. Some, some 
the query ran by some people or it is ran from the application. Okay, so let's see whether uh, this is the error captured or not oh, here. Uh, uh, so Tim, uh, we cannot refresh here. What you can do, uh, just come here again and open this. See here, error reported. So this will be stored tip permanently, this error. So if you see here, so what is the error tip? See error message, we got it. Delayed statement conflicted. See, we can capture, uh, we can see the real time tip. Hmm? What really the errors are uh, uh, getting SQL server side. See, in live, we cannot check always 24 by seven, right? So if we have these extended events, we can every day, we can easily check. Uh, even application side, uh, there are people, developers are, they are changing the stored process and all, you know, they wrote the code, but the application when trying to connect, uh, it will throw some error because that SP might be some wrong, wrong parameters, you know, uh, wrong calling. There might be a lot of issues from application side, which is connected, trying to connect to the SQL server, right? So those are all, you can check it here hmm? easily. See how... Uh, See, it's a it's an auntie. That means it always, uh, if any errors, it directly capture error. You don't need to schedule anything and all. See how simple it is to capture the errors uh, using these extended events. That too, this is very lightweight. Tip, okay, it won't consume a lot of re resources and all. You can easily uh, create uh, in all production machines. Even if you believe it or not, uh, in our one of the production uh, server that is uh, having the 50 terabyte uh, database thing. So we were, we created even 50 terabyte database. See 50 terabyte uh, database means you can assume like, uh, uh, so how much uh, data it is storing and uh, application, how it is trying to connect a lot of, you know, um, it's not easy, right? To maintain uh, 50 terabyte in RDBMS. Okay, so even 50 terabyte databases also, we are easily capturing the errors and all using these extended events. Okay, yeah. So thank you, Tim. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And uh, next, uh, let's see uh, other uh, uh, extended events, uh, like uh, how we're gonna see the deadlock information, how we're gonna see the long running queries and all, we will see in the next video. Thank you, Tim. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.